Portugal's parliament approved the extension of a state of emergency by another 15 days on Thursday to stop the spread of the coronavirus, as the number of deaths from the disease rose over 200. If decreeing a state of emergency was necessary 15 days ago, it is essential that we renew it today, Prime Minister Antonio Costa told Parliament. All the effort we have made so far will be compromised if it does not continue. Just one lawmaker voted against the measure, with 10 abstentions and 215 votes in favor. Senior socialist lawmaker Ana Catarina Mendes deemed the move hard but necessary. Portugal has confirmed 9,034 coronavirus cases and 209 deaths, with health authorities expecting the outbreak to plateau at the end of May. Government measures to bolster the finances of families and businesses during the outbreak include support for salaries of workers whose jobs are on hold and credit lines for hard-hit industries like tourism, textiles and agriculture. Still, lawmakers in Thursday's debate appealed to companies and the financial sector to step up their support for families and businesses, with opposition leader Rui Rio stating it would be an embarrassment if banks posted profits in 2020 and 2021. Banks owe a lot to the Portuguese. Now it is their obligation to help, he said. They must not benefit from this crisis. Left-wing parties Left Bloc and Communist Party flagged that some workers were still being made to come to the office and many were losing their jobs despite government promises to prioritize keeping people in employment. We cannot allow the state of emergency to be a pretext for a law of the jungle in the lives and rights of workers, said communist lawmaker João Oliveira.